classes the question is like this 125 volts at 60 hertz is applied across a capacitance connected in series with non inductive resistor so it's a definitely rc circuit right so series combination they mentioned the voltage is uh, 125 volts 60 hertz and the combination carries a current of uh, 2.2 amps so current is 2.2 amps causes power loss of 96.8 watts in the resistor here power loss is 96.8 watts the power loss in capacitance is negligible calculate resistance value r and capacitance so uh, see the problem properly uh, the power loss is given what is the formula for uh, power loss power loss is equal to i square uh, r right so the power dissipation occurs only in resistance part so r is equal to p by i square i'll substitute values over here so 96. Point, uh, 8 watts divided by 2.2 whole square that is 20 ohm okay now how to calculate c so c only one relationship we can uh, uh, use uh, xc is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc where c is equal to 1 by 2 pi f into xc right this is the formula so now we need to calculate uh, z because z is equal to what uh, root of uh, r square plus uh, xc square right so what about um, z value z value we don't know we need to calculate i is equal to v by z where z is equal to v by i so voltage is given 125 right 125 divided by 2.2 you will get uh, 56.81 right and uh, z is this one i'll substitute over here 56.81 is equal to root of r is over 20 right 20 square plus x c square right so i'll square this equation so 56.81 square is equal to 20 square plus x c square right so x c square is equal to 56.81 square minus 20 square so finally x c is equal to root of 56.81 square minus 20 square we will get xc is equal to 53.17 okay 17 ohm now we can calculate uh, c over here 1 by 2 pi 60 is 1 60 into xc is 53.17 so c is equal to 4.9 into 10 raised to minus 5 0.49 microfarad okay c is equal to 0 0.49 microfarad in alternating voltage 80 plus j60 is given so voltage is given 80 plus j60 volt is applied to a circuit and the current flowing is uh, current is minus 4 plus uh, j10 right so find the impedance of the circuit so z we need to calculate and phase angle we need to calculate power consumed by the circuit so power uh, we need to calculate so i'll be converting into this one uh, uh, power form that is uh, 100 angle 36.86 will get and then this one uh, 10.77 use calculator okay uh, angle 11.80 right so 10.77 next there is a uh, how to calculate z i is equal to v by z z is equal to v by i so this 80 plus j60 divided by minus 4 plus j10 will get uh, 2.414 uh, plus j8.96 okay this is z if you want to convert into regular polar form we can uh, convert 9.284 minus 74.93 so this is your uh, z value so how to calculate uh, 5 5 is equal to this one 74.93 how to calculate the power power loss or power consumed by circuit i square R right so i is how much 10.77 10.77 uh, square into r is 2.414 definitely we will get uh, 283.02 watts okay once again you will classic the answer voltage is given v and then i is given z is equal to v by i and voltage i converted into power form i also converted into power form we got uh, phase angle here uh, while converting 74.93 this one and then power is equal to i square so i is uh, 10.77 r is uh, 
this uh, 2.44 and for 283.02 watts. Next problem, a coil of power factor 0.6, cos phi of uh, coil is given is 0.6 in series with 100 microfarad uh, capacitor. So, coil is definitely R, L will be there, right? So, this is R and L, this is a coil and uh, capacitor is connected in series with the circuit and uh, this one is 100 microfarad is given. And the supply is given uh, 50 hertz only, okay? 50 hertz, not uh, given voltage. So we need to find R and uh, L, right? So the potential difference across the coil is equal to potential difference across the capacitor. The condition is given. So this V coil is equal to Vc, right? So V coil is equal to Vc. So V coil the formula I into Z coil, right? So, Vc is equal to I into Xc. So, I, I get cancelled because same current is flowing. Z coil is equal to Xc. How to calculate Xc now? 1 by 2 pi Fc. So, 1 by 2 pi into 50 into C is 100 into 10 raised to minus 6. You will get 31.83. So, you got uh, Xc now. Right. So, uh, we need to calculate uh, R now, how to calculate R? So, I will be just drawing a vector diagram for this coil because power factor is given. So, vector diagram for this one is uh, coil is, this one is Z coil, this one is uh, XL, uh, inductive reactance and then this is uh, R, active component, this is phi. So, what about cos phi? Cos phi is equal to R by Z, right? So, cos phi is given 0 0.6, right? So, 0 0.6 is equal to R by, this is Z coil, okay, Z coil, Z coil. So, R is equal to Z coil into 0 0.6, you will get um, uh, 31.83 into 0 0.6, you will get 19.09, okay. Uh, R is over, next we need to calculate XL, right, because we want L value. Sin phi is equal to XL by Z coil, right, see the formula. Uh, like uh, opposite by hypotenuse. So sin phi is sin phi is uh, phi is zero point cos phi is zero point six. Phi is equal to cos inverse of uh, zero point six. Phi is equal to fifty three point one three. So sin of uh, fifty three point one three is equal to XL by into divided by Z coil is equal to sin fifty three point one three into uh, uh, Z coil is 31.83. Finally, we will get uh, 0 0.8 into 31.83. We will get uh, 25.46. Now we can calculate L, right? So, XL is equal to 2 pi FL. L is equal to XL by 2 pi F. So, finally, we will get XL is uh, 25.46 divided by 2 pi into 50. We will get uh, 0 0.081 hundred. Once again, we will cross check the answer. Circuit diagram is like this. Xc we calculate 31.83. Z coil is equal to Xc, right? So, cos phi is equal to 0 0.6. Converted into sin phi, 0 0.8. So, R is equal to Z cos phi. Xl is equal to Z sin phi from the this uh, vector diagram power triangle. And L is equal to Xl by 2 pi f. We got 0 0.081.